Oh, there you go. He shot. Come on, it's been a while since I had a fat pump on it like that. All right, you guys, I'm excited. Like you see in front of me, we just received an electric bike. So this is KBO Compact uh, Foldable Electric Bike. If you're interested, www.kbobike.com. You can check all their bikes, amazing bikes, but for ourselves, we decide to go with a foldable bike, which are uh, gonna be easy to uh, fit on the car and transport it where you wanna go and then take it from there. So, never used an electric bike before, so it's first time. Let's go ahead and open this package and check this beauty out. Very well packaged. Heavy duty box. Uh, oh, yeah. All right. All right, you guys, now that we have the bike ready, before we take it for a ride, let's go a little bit into the spec. So we have 748 watt hours lithium ion battery. We have a 750 watt priceless hub motor, seven speed Shimano shifter, uh, 20 inch by 4 inch fat tires. The reason I want with the fat tires is because we're gonna do a lot of off-road and uh, on the sand. So we need to have uh, fat tires for the sand. You have front light and rear lights, which is pretty neat, especially for night riding. And front suspension, this is pretty neat, especially for off-road. Uh, reinforced rack, of, of course, adjustable uh, handlebar, adjustable seat, and just a click clamp that can easily clamp off and fold the bike. Same thing for the handlebar and same thing for the seat, guys. So we have a kickstand, heavy duty kickstand, and of course we have a key. So right now the battery is on the lock position. So you unlock the battery and you can just take a lot of weight from the bike when you are uh, loading the bike on the car or when you're charging. You can charge at home or you can charge it as it is on the bike. Charging port there, you can just take this home and charge it or just, just in the bike, pretty easy. Just try to put this on this sliding bar right here and it goes back very easy and you just clap it in there and you're good to go. So yeah, you have the, the locks on the bar still it and the seat easy goes in the, uh, up and down there. So yeah, I'll tour this guy on the home position. We have the LCD screen, multi-factional, hold and I press and hold the power button for a second. I'm gonna show you all this good stuff, the speed, battery life, how many miles, you guys. Press and hold for the light or just press for the assist. You have up to three assists on this bike. We running this on assist one seat. You know, it's recommended for flat surfaces. We have a front uh, uh, disc brakes and rear disc brakes, which make uh, immediate stops. And let's, let's try this beauty now. It's gonna kick in a second. Man, this beauty girls, I'm pumped guys, I'm pumped. So yeah, we'll give it a little test here and there, but tomorrow, first thing in the morning, we're gonna hit the spot that I'm thinking to start first. We're gonna check a couple spots and uh, see where we're gonna find some fish and test this beauty. So 
I might take this tomorrow for a good 15-20 miles see how we're gonna do on the battery and speed and all this good stuff and how easy and fast I'm gonna get on my fishing spot so so yeah let's get ready and go and catch some fish so without getting you you guys bored let's get this bike ready let's get our uh, our uh, backpack with uh, all uh, what we need for today we're gonna only take one rod today I mean mostly jigging and maybe throw some loot in there let's load and show you guys how this works already we are good to go so you can just run it as a bike guys simple easy you have the shifter here whichever gear you perfect or press and hold for a second the power button there and you're gonna see all these zeros so now you see how many miles you are paddling so we're gonna go pedal assist i recommend pedal assist on the flat surfaces and look it kicks up just like that we don't need to do the throttle, it just start going. Let's see. Pedal assist 2, it goes like 17. Pedal assist 3, oh, almost full speed on pedal assist 3. Love it. 21. And of course, I guess it requires more juice when, when you go pedal assist 3 for spool, full speed. Or what I like to do right here, pedal assist one. almost forgot my entrance guys so that's what I'm talking about we still are not done with our trip so to go this through bushes which is kind of cool put my pole sideways and that's the reason so it doesn't touch those trees yeah boy we're doing 12 miles we're doing it on a low assist assist one because you don't want to hit something and have an accident so Get ready with the brakes, but yeah, doing some off road trip now. <laughs> yeah, boy. All right, you guys are ready. Sorry, the wind noise might be bad, but best we can do this side actually is not bad but the other side is just I don't know, 20 miles per hour they said like 12 13 but no, that's more like 20 25 now this wind and this grass is a cut we'll give this area like 10 minutes we we'll go back in the other side for a few more minutes and go to the smaller bridge there see if we can find fair shelter there if not a different destination Oh, good fish, good fish. Good fish, guys. First of K fish. It's kind of heavy, whatever it is. Oh, it's fighting now. Oh, man. This thing is fighting good now. Whatever this thing is. Like I said, with this guy, you have to be really careful. See how far the stinger is, and he just gets you with that. He swings left and right just to get you. Not what we're looking for, but hey, something. Position. A few more minutes, and we move again on the other side.
Yeah, at least something. Good size big fish. All right, we go back to the little bridge before we hit a different spot. This spot here will come back on another nice day because with this crazy wind, I couldn't do much there. But it was fun and I wanted to see how good I'm gonna do it with a bike and man oh man, easy, easy peasy. Already. Yeah, this side is pretty easy to bring the bike and the wind is much calmer here guys let's leave the bike right here make sure to turn this thing off we don't want to waste the battery nice all right there all right we are trying the windy side now gonna try working going into the bridge usually that's the side that we catch pump enough either this side or in the other side I try both sides so we'll see come on fishy fishy jump ah come on got me excited it's a lady fish let's, let's not lose this jig I'm gently, I'll let you go if you cooperate. There you go. Good sign though, if you see ladyfish there, Pompanus, let's release this guy and go back. So after each ladyfish, he's uh, good to retire since we went back to 20 pounds. Since we're using 3.8, I just, I just want to use 20 pound leader. Don't want to go any, any heavier than that. But yeah, every after ladyfish, make sure new loop knot or whatever knot you try to tie. Oh, there you go. Oh, that's a good bite. Come on. Oh, it's chasing. No. What was that thing? Oh, come on. Oh, come on. Get out from there. I got him right near the pylon. So it might be a jack. I don't know if pump and they're gonna be hanging around that near all those pylons let's see though. let's try to land him first yeah I figure out that's a jack as well uh, it's been a while since we've seen jacks though I'll take it a tiny jacky long time don't see all right let's go back for more Yeah, Jack, ladyfish, come on. Where is the pumpkin? Let's get the pumpkin. Oh, there you go. Fish on. We got it, these guys. We got it this time. Let's see. Another Jack. Not running a pumpkin. Yeah, moon, fishy, fishy. Oh, it's a pompano. We found them, guys. That's a pompano. I don't know we, why he came weird and now, I, now he's running. We found the pompanoes. Come on, it's been a while since I had a fat pompano like that. Let's not lose this guy. Let's not lose him. Let's not give him up. He might be a good size pump. Oh, it's a permit, Mr. Permit. Wow, nice. Look at that, guys, look at that. Nice, I'll say 15, 16 inch permit. Around 16 inch, I will say. We don't like to eat permit, so we let these guys go and grow. Nice. Yeah, boy. Oh, 
running, but he's shaking his head more, so I don't know if I can put this on or not. Ah, come on. Why am I losing him today? The hooks are super sharp. The barbs are in there, so I don't know. Why am I losing it today? Why? Ah. Let's try again. Show. It's kind of weird. I don't put this on the pump. Not even close. These guys are horrible. All right, we made it to the other side. Wind is crazy in this side. Ah, uh, I don't know if we're gonna do much with the 3.8 here, but we'll try. We might try another spot after this or just call it a day here. I'm happy I check, check those spots and I know where to buy these. But for next time I'm gonna go straight in this spot. Let's see if we get something good. We're going back guys. This wind got even worse. Crazy wind noise and uh, with a 3 8 of a jig. I don't think I can do anything and it's grassy windy wavy but we found some fish can't complain so yep here all right you guys we made it to the car I'm gonna show you this easy step so you just releasing this knob pretty simple just snatch this open like that the bike is ready to fold make sure you position the pedals on this side just like that there you go. Same thing, release this up right here. Boom. Hold this down. What I do, I, I would like to just take the battery. It takes a lot of weight off the bike. So it's always a good idea taking the battery first. And of course the key, don't lose it. So that way be easier for me to carry and just uh send this uh bike on a car it's not the crazy heavy but it's not the light you know okay. so that's all it is to that guys falls perfect there and i have my cooler and my tackle boxes and my pole so but yeah, that's all it is to the bike. Easy fold, one simple step, just clip that off. Same thing with the handlebar and pack that on the car. So yeah, guys, if you're interested for KBO bikes, visit uh, www.kbobike.com or I'm gonna link this product on my description, of course, with discount code. So that way you're not only gonna get discount on the bike, but help us as well because we do make a commission out of each cell if you click through my link so yeah again thank you for joining me on this adventure we're gonna have more bike uh, videos coming soon and more new spots so i hope you enjoyed today's video if you did like always guys appreciate you watching like this video subscribe if you're new to the channel and we'll see you on the next one